My name is Brian Ian, civil engineer by profession, and from my experience, I'm going to help you understand the most common mistakes in construction of bungalow housing. You will also learn how to avoid these common mistakes in construction, so be sure to watch this video till the end. Let's first clearly understand what a bungalow house means. So, this is a bungalow house. It's typically a single storied house with a low pitched roof. Common mistake number one is failing to provide straight joints or expansion joints in perimeter walls. For example, this is a newly constructed perimeter wall and there are no straight joints that were provided in between here and here. Due to expansion and contraction, this wall will create its own joints along here after some time like this one which ends up becoming a big crack hence making the whole wall to fall down. The correct version or what is supposed to be done correctly is providing straight joints or expansion joints in between pillars like here to allow expansion and contraction. This way, the wall will be safe from cracks. Common mistake number two that I see all the time is failing to provide road lime when laying paver blocks which ends up leading to grass growing in between the pavers. What most contractors do is that when laying pavers, they do site clearance, compact the ground, lay maram, compact the maram, lay lake sand on top of the maram and then lay pavers on top. This way, there are high chances that grass will grow in between the paver blocks like this. The correct version or what should be done correctly is that before laying pavers, do site clearance, compact the ground, lay maram mixed with road lime and compact it, lay lake sand on top and then finally lay pavers. We mix 7 bags of road lime in every 5 cubic meters of maram. The track that is around 5 cubic meters is a forward adjuston track. So simply mix 7 bags of road lime with single forward adjuston track of maram. Mixing road lime with maram is always a must when laying pavers to prevent grass from growing through the pavers. But when your pavers compound already has grass in it, we simply remove the pavers on top compact properly then lay a polythene sheeting all around the site or any other DPM that covers the whole area then spread lake sand on top of the DPM and lay pavers on top. Common mistake number 3 is fixing door frames wrongly. Let me give you an example. This is a door frame entrance. This is a full brick wall or a header bond wall so this door frame will be a bit bigger than the wall size. When fitting these frames, most mansions fit the frame this outer side which is wrong because after fitting the door it will not lie properly on the wall instead it will keep hanging somewhere around here in the space hence reducing the space in the room so this is a mistake what should be done correctly is that when attaching this frame to the wall fix the frame to this inner side of the room so that after fixing the door the door will lie properly on the wall without any interruptions or taking up the space in the room therefore this is a mistake and this is correct. Common mistake number 4 is fixing window frames wrongly. For example, this window frame section was fixed extending to this inner side of the wall which is wrong because this window will not lie on the wall and this is what will happen. After fitting in the glasses here, at one time in the future, wind will come from this side and blow this frame. This frame will hit on this other main frame and then the glasses will break. The correct version is extending this frame to this outer side of the wall thickness so that the window frame will lie properly on the wall like this. This way, even if wind comes, it will not blow the window frame and secondly, it will allow easy passage via this veranda here. Therefore, this is a mistake and this is correct. Common mistake number 5 is building houses with a short height. What most masonry workers do is that they make this height from the finished floor level up to the bottom of this ring beam here 7 feet which is the same as the door height. They make the door height here as 7 feet which is wrong. This is wrong because after plastering and doing necessary finishing including the ceiling, it makes this house too short and for people living in higher altitude areas, the sun will be directly heating on this roof, then the heat from the sun will be directly transmitted to the occupants inside via the ceiling easily since the height here is too short. The correct version is, make this door height at least 8 feet. Then the ring beam here will be at least 200 millimeters. Then add about 6 to 7 courses here before reaching the wall plate level. 
We follow this height to ensure that from the ground floor level up to the bottom of the ceiling it's at least 10 feet or around 3 meters. This makes temperatures inside here favorable and hence the house being a comfortable place to live in. Therefore, door height less than 8 feet, for example 7 feet is a mistake and door height of 8 feet here is correct. Then for storied houses, you can raise the building up to 3.2 meters from the structural slab level of one level up to the structural slab level of the next floor. Common mistake number 6 is raising the foundation to a height less than 600 mm, which is wrong. The correct version is raising this foundation to a height around 600 mm to 800 mm from the natural ground level up to the DPC level. This height is enough to protect the building from storm water or running water. Common mistake number 7 is building a single line of ventilators in bungalow houses, which is wrong. For security purposes, always build two lines of ventilators. This is the first line here and this is the second line here to slightly match the wall thickness. Therefore, this is wrong and this is correct. Common mistake number eight is building seven sand ceilings for large rooms in bungalow houses. It ends up cracking along this line because this area is very large. The correct version is fixing timber pieces and then fix ceiling boards on these large rooms exceeding four meters. The ceiling boards look like this, or you can use any other kind of ceiling but not this kind of cement sand plaster ceilings. The cement and sand plaster ceilings work on small rooms or rooms not exceeding 4 meters along the length or along the width. Common mistake number 9 is raising columns up the ring beam level. What most masons do is that they raise these columns up the ring beam level which is wrong because the wall plate will be sitting on the bricks. The correct version is extending these columns up to the wall plate level. The wall plate will be at this level hence transferring the rod from the roof to the wall plate then from the wall plate to the columns then from the columns to the foundation. Also remember that when casting concrete for the ring beam it runs all around the perimeter wall. Let's consider this as the top view of our building. When casting concrete for the ring beam it runs all around the perimeter wall but when you're casting concrete for the lintel or, or only a small part in front here we cast concrete up to here. Do not cast concrete up to here because it will create a crack at this corner. We cast concrete up to here. Common mistake number 10 is doing timber roofing without first doing a termite treatment. Most roofers simply fix timber pieces and then on top of the timber pieces here, they simply fix roofing sheets or roof tiles, which is wrong because after some time, termites will eat up these timber pieces like this. The correct version is that first do and termite treatment before fixing the timber pieces. Mix tunnelist chemical with water, dip timber for at least 48 hours, remove the timber pieces from the pit, sand dry it, then roof your house. In case you're not considering the option of using timber as your pilings and rafters, you can use a steel roof like this one instead. Be sure to always treat your timber against termites before roofing in case you're using the timber option. In summary, the most common mistakes in the general construction of bungalow houses are failing to provide expansion joints or straight joints in perimeter walls, failing to provide road lime when compacting a base to lay paper blocks, fixing door frames wrongly, fixing window frames wrongly, making the house short, please foundations less than 600 mm, building single line of ventilators, building sand cement ceilings for large rooms, raising columns up the ring beam level, and failing to treat timber against termites. I have also given the correct version of what is supposed to be done in each of the above. In case you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section. I will answer all your questions immediately. Be sure to also watch this video on the right here. Thank you so much for watching.